What is up, Piper Drivers, and welcome to the final reaction video to the Book of Boba Fett, Episode 7. We have made it, guys. Thank you for joining me again for another reaction video, and thank you for joining me along the way to come and hang out with me every morning or stay up late to see my reaction to these videos. I really appreciate that. If this is your first time on the channel, though, here on the Hyperdrive, we talk about Star Wars all the time, especially Star Wars collecting. But I do love to do the reactions to these uh, TV shows, movies, and then talk about them later on in the week. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you could jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. So love it or hate it, it's fun to have Star Wars stuff and talk about Star Wars stuff, have things to talk about. So this is great. You know, I, I do... I, did, I have enjoyed the book of Boba Fett, even though some of the episodes have not been the best, okay? Um, you know, last week was another episode that was more Mandalorian-focused. We didn't really get uh, anything from Boba Fett other than a cameo, uh, which has been kind of jarring for me. It's because, you know, I feel like we haven't completed the story of Boba Fett, and now it seems like they're already moving on towards the Mandalorian. So I kind of was hoping that we would get a little more story before we get to this final episode, but... They got to close it here, guys. It's got to be. It's got to be it. The best thing about last week's episode, in my opinion, was the fine the the the, the live action appearance, first appearance of Cad Bane, which is super freaking cool because that means that at least in this episode, I'm expecting a rematch between those two, and it's going to be of epic proportions, is what I'm hoping for. So that's what I'm most looking forward to on this episode. Uh, don't even know what else we're going to get into. Let's see how long this this one is. This one is apparently an hour long. So it's the longest of all the episodes so far. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, you know, so again, we break it down every week. I know that, uh, that some of the episodes have not been the best, but I feel like the overall ride has been enjoyable. So I'm looking forward to this end. And then we have a hiatus, and I heard that in May we're supposed to be getting uh, Kenobi. So that's going to be cool. So we'll be back in May for that. But in between there, I'm going to be doing reactions to some fan films, and I'm going to find some other stuff, because I do like doing this stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to this, it's because we've got an hour to push through on this. This is going to be cool. All right, here we go. Disney. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, back at Mos Espa. Damn, they messed up that bar. I think Max Rebo did it. Max Rebo. He's the main bad guy. So, it is. And where do you propose we wait for reinforcements? Here. Here. In these ruins. None. Tell us off with greater protection. If you want to abandon Mos Espa and hide in your fortress, go ahead. We're staying. The people who live here need our protection. Damn, they just. Show some force, dude. Come on. We'll stay. They work for you, bro. Oh, here he comes. Love the way this guy walks, man. <laughs> Good. I want this over as soon as possible. We used to live among the Tuscan Raider tribe in the desert. They no longer exist. Knew it was them. Are you sure? Yes. We destroyed them ourselves. Yep. There's that no man. He has no idea. He thinks they were killed by Nikto speedbikers. I knew it. Out his revenge on them. In his mind, the matter is resolved. 
Oh, when he finds out, it's going to be over. In the name of honor. Okay. Is that an X Wing? Oh, that's Luke. Hey, that ending? I knew he was gonna pick the chainmail armor. Grogu flew that thing back there? Come on, man. Must have been on auto. R2 must have flown that. Like, Luke's been starving me. <laughs> As we wait for the reinforcements to arrive with Cobb Pan from Freetown, our forces are quietly patrolling the streets of the old city. Code Red, there is someone here to see you. I thought you said nobody could sneak up on us. We go. Lord, I smell something. <laughs> Looking for a job, you're late. See how he's going to react to that. You know it's true. From your clients, negotiations are terminated. You're going soft in your old age. We all do. Hmm. I can't believe Cab Bane gave up that information like that, man. I think he could have took him out, though. That was an impressive display of strength. Hit him. Exemplary strategy. If I may be so bold, our traditional counsel. I wonder how much you would pay for the toilet. Understood. Many pardons. I should never have interjected. They turned on him. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Should have killed that dude at the table. I thought we had a treaty. So did I. You expect something different? Ah, oh, kill some Trandoshans, bro.
Ah, oh, man, those two are dead. Damn. I ain't surviving that. Coordinated attack. You have to gather our people. There's no way to overcome their deaths. We need to take out command and control. Come on, man. Don't take him out, bro. Should have did it from the palace, man. Who was that from? Ooh. Took him out. Oh, hey, she got there quick. I thought she was going to Moss Eisley. Get to the sanctuary. Hey. Thank you. Boba Fett better kill all the heads of these bosses afterwards, man. That's all I'm saying, man. He better do that. They're here. Will you be heading out? I'm not. You should. It's against the creed. I gave you my word. I'm with you until we both fall. Good. <laughs> This is the way. If I may offer an alternative. Shoot him. <laughs> Shall I continue? I'll continue. <laughs> if you would feel confident empowering me to negotiate on your behalf, I'm fairly certain we would be granted passage off world with at worst some theatrical, symbolic, groveling gesture. And an exchange of funds. Shoot. Very well. This guy's gonna get shot. But for his tablet bearing the terms of surrender. I wish to present to whomever spokesperson is empowered to deliberate an acceptable outcome in the eyes of the Obadiah Council. Read if you tell me. Agreed. Let us dispense with the pleasantry. <clears throat> I, Boba Fett, speaking as Daimyo of the Tatooine territory, formerly held by Jabba. This is gonna be good. You present the following offer. <laughs> Perhaps we should discuss what you'd be willing to read it. The following offer. Nothing. Sands of Tatooine will once again flourish with flowered fields fertilized with the bodies of your city. <laughs> His words. Ah, he's using the jetpack. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's dope. It would have been better if they killed the Twi'lek, though. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Get back in the hole, bro. There we go. I'm 
sorry about the marshal. Gunned him down in cold blood. We didn't have to come here. Yes, we did. Planet deserves better. So he's dead? He can't be dead. The Power Rangers are here! Oh, got one. Red Ranger down. Pretty hairy back there. Only sand scurry has come from. We're here to save the Travis and City Rex. <laughs> save it for the pikes. Come on, where's Chris Hansen? I heard her. I heard the roar. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> ah, save him, man. Ah, oh, man, he's going to go down. He's taking a lot of hits. Is that? I wouldn't celebrate yet. We got problems. Oh shit. We got real problems. They're like massive super battle droids. I didn't take him out. They didn't go past the shields. Hmm. Damn. Yo, I like the way he's using the jetpack, though. What's the flamethrower gonna do? There you go. Hmm. Nope. Oh, he healed up pretty quickly. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Nice little move there. Poser. <laughs> Can't hear you. That woman is so damn silly. Hey, little guy. I'm happy to see you too. 
Scorpion Actuary. That's a good name for that. That's cool. What is he doing here? The Forge wants him a serious way. Huh. <laughs> oh. Did she just spit on a tooth? The Rancor. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, he got big. That's badass. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Don't move. Let me handle this. That's dope. Oh, damn. There you go. Damn, that's got to hurt your back landing on the jetpack. Ah, right, come on, we'll crush it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Dude, I love that Rancor. That Rancor is sick. Come on, that droid can't be done from that. Mm. Take it out, man. Rip the arms off. Oh, that is dope. Bro, that is some epic freaking scenes here. This is cool shit. Is she fighting with a Jawa gun? <laughs> ah, come on, man. Eat one. There you go. Bite its head off. Bite its head off. <laughs> yes! Oh shit. Here we go, rematch time. Man, he ain't even afraid. He's afraid of fire? That's how much of a badass he is, bro. Let's get up with the gun and everything. I've known you a long time, Bobo. Don't toy with me. I'm not a little boy any longer. You are an old man. I'm still faster than you. Let's find out. Doo -doo -doo. 
That's it. That's cat. That's Cad Bane's death. I did not expect that. Ah, oh, don't shoot the rancor. He just saved you. King Kong moment now. Here. Hang on to this. Knob. Hey, you're not my trainer. Ooh. Damn, he took a hit. how they make it more agile in this animation and this is crazy <laughs> all right he's definitely got stronger on the force at least he's not passing out anytime he uses his ability so that's cool Spoke too soon. <laughs> the syndicate forces have pulled back from Montasso. We shall be arriving here in Montasso shortly, and then we will be disembarked. You can't just cut and run. We lost soldiers too. We had a deal. Ah, uh, time for you all to die. There you go. That's authentic. Boba Fett should be the one to kill this guy. That's so weird. They're like all separated now. <laughs> all right. But this is the last time. 
Oh, he wants Nos. <laughs> oh man, is there an end credit? Oh, yeah, there is. Who's in the back of the tank? Oh, Cobb Vanth. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, they're going to turn him into a robot? I have to look up on that. It's probably something having to do with the comics, but I didn't know him too well in the comic books, but maybe he's somehow part of a droid. Yeah, we'll find out. Anyways. Um, so, that was a freaking awesome episode. I had a good time with that one. Uh, probably my favorite moment is the Rancor, obviously. I've never seen a Rancor fight like that. That's, that was really cool. Uh, well, maybe in, in Bad Batch, but at least in live action. You know, I never saw something like that. That was, that was really epic. I love that. That was really cool. Can't believe they killed Cad Bane, man. That's crazy. You know? I mean, I half expected him to, like, just get shot and, like, you know, wander off so they could bring him back for another, you know, season or something like that. Um, uh, but Cool. Very, very cool. I like how that, that ended. Very fun uh, last episode. Um, I got to watch this over again because that was a lot to take in. A whole hour of that, that was, that was really neat. Um, I don't know if Vanth is the same guy in the, in the comics that, that has, uh, that's mostly Android, but he had like, you know, a jaw and everything. I think that guy has a different, I think it's Valance is, the, is who that guy is, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I don't think it's the same guy. Um, what else about this episode that I liked a lot? Um, I think that was really it. I think it was really what, what stuck out to me is that final battle is, is really what it is. Probably most of the episode, but that was uh, what really, really stuck out of me. I still felt like that whole interaction between him and the, and the, uh, and the mod gang when they were like, hey, let's go back to Moss Eyes, uh, to, the, to the castle. And they were like, no, we're going to stay right here. You know, he, he, uh, he accepts too much what other people are telling him and doesn't really make his own decisions. So I'm hoping that kind of changes, but from the looks of it, you know, they've made Boba Fett now a, a good guy. I like that they killed off the, the rest of the gang. I do wish that Boba Fett was the one that killed them, but whatever. You know, I'm okay with, uh, with how, that, uh, how that played out. So we got, basically, Boba Fett is the sole uh, lord of, uh, of Tatooine as a planet now. So I wonder if he's going to uh, put up little, uh, his own people in the different sectors. Um, maybe that's probably what's going to happen next. Uh, but we're going to talk about this more on Sunday, and especially after I rewatch what's going down with this. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below. Do you want to see a season two of Boba Fett? Uh, or would you prefer for Boba Fett just to be the uh, secondary character, you know, like in, in The Mandalorian, the way he was in The Mandalorian? I think I would prefer him to just be a character that comes in for certain episodes more than having a whole... Uh, a season dedicated to, to Boba Fett. But that's near here. There, we'll see what happens as that comes out. I heard that they're going to be having already a season two of Andor, and we didn't even get season one yet. So something must have been really good with that. I'm interested to see what's going to come with that. And the next up is going to be Kenobi. So we're going to be back for Kenobi when that, uh, when that show comes out. Uh, and then in between there, like I said, I'm going to be doing some reactions to a lot of the fan films that are out there because there's some good ones. So stay tuned for all of that, guys. Uh, on Sunday, we'll be here again for the review with all of the gang. So tune in for that this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, may the Force be with you.